Hi guys! Welcome to Lovecast, the boys love podcast where we talk about everything related to boys love. I'm your host Pixie and with me are my co-hosts Alexa and Kayla. Hi! Hi. <laughs> Our guest today you might know from Two Moons 2. Even if you haven't watched that show you probably know who he is. The one <laughs> and only Pavel. Hello! Hi hey. everybody! Hey. <laughs> We've talked Welcome. about this a couple of times earlier that we've so wanted to have you on the show. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we got it. Yes, <laughs> finally. finally. <laughs> yeah, sure. So I, I'm really curious. I have so many questions. You have no uh -huh. idea. <laughs> I'm really curious. <laughs> if someone you don't know um, asks you what you do, what do you tell them? Because you like act, do everything. model, <laughs> sing, oh. rap. What um, do you do? <laughs> I tell, I just tell them I'm a Siri. In Thailand, we call BL Siri Y, which is yeah. a Y Siri, right? Mm -hmm. You don't actually say mm -hmm. BL, but um, yeah, I just say um, an actor for Siri Y. Yeah, which is yeah, that's it. I don't, I don't tell, I don't tell them my model and that. I yeah. think like when I tell someone that I model, it seems a bit like a flex. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh and you know, like like a, like a like um teenagers boys they will be like oh bro what do you do oh i model bro like you know what i mean like, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah it's a bit like yeah, too much yeah. like yeah it's a little pretentious yeah. <laughs> i get that <laughs> just acting yeah i tell them i'm an actor like see you why i i tell them like that the the direction not just broadly yeah. because i mm. i wouldn't say like i'm an actor for everything because i haven't mm. done but everything. i can mm -hmm be like that if i yeah. if i have the right. chance you know but i just haven't yeah. done yeah well yeah, yeah. A an actor is an actor even if you're acting gay or yeah. not <laughs> yeah. but it, it, in thailand like um um bl is like a very Estate. very like popular it's it's like a, yeah, yeah it's like a it's a thing you have to say it like mm -hmm. you don't just say it like in channel three like actual celebrity actor they would say i'm an actor at channel three yeah. Yeah, I can't say that. I would be like, I, I'm a BL Siri actor. <laughs> like, you yeah, know, it has yeah, to be yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. So I'm curious, how did you end up auditioning for Two Moons Two? Uh well, I started as modeling. So mm -hmm. in Thailand, I came back from um, New Zealand and then got started in uni. Went to meet my first um, agency, which is Elite Modeling which is yeah. um, Italy based um, France, like yeah, all those I, like very, yeah, very like very out, like at the top mm -hmm. level. And um, I didn't like believe I would get it. And I just went casting and they're like, okay, you can be, but you can't be a runway because runway has to be 185 plus. Oh, so yeah. just, like, runway, runway boys is like very tall. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can mm -hmm. be like editorial, like photo shoots, like, mm -hmm. uh, like photos, studio type and mm -hmm. clothing street fashion but not like runway that those like are built different <laughs> like yeah. when you hear the word build different it's really big. <laughs> that's them yeah. but then I, I i i then um went to a casting for two moons i heard of bl but i didn't like yeah. like didn't at that time i didn't I, yeah i didn't like search like what the fuck mm -hmm. is it like you know oh sorry is, it, is this allowed you know, yeah it's fine it's fine yeah. 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 yeah um like but I don't know what it was. And then I searched and then, oh, okay. So it's a boy love. Um, and then I saw the casting opening for the um, two moons two. And I was like, okay, like, this might be a shot. And the, um, you might know him, Dr. Pat, which is a guy mm, that worked. It's the um, trainer. Uh, yeah. He works yeah. in um, Motor Village. And then he actually um, told us at uni that you might fit a role in there as mm -hmm. fourth i was like who who is fourth like what are you talking about and then i was like he was like it's a br series blah 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 and then it's um he writes motorcycle like you and then i was like okay that's cool um and then he was like give it a shot and then mm -hmm. I, I actually went and then as you can see i was like way different back then i was like fuck like i don't know this <laughs> like like i was sitting at the back with my backpack and just like uh, like looking like very little and just like sitting there like <laughs> Uh, I just came here because my my um my Teacher professor said <laughs> yeah. I said I actually um passed the first one which yeah. is like the first audition which is like 
I think around 1,000 people. Mm-hmm. Like, wow. because it was so popular back Crazy. then. And it was like mm-hmm. at the Siam Center, which is like a well, biggest mall. Yeah. And um, I got the news that I passed to 24. And then that's when the shit hits the fan. Like, when <laughs> I went to the 24th, like, I, I mean, the 24 finalists. Yeah. Like everyone has fan. Like literally yeah. everyone had me and Ben were just sitting there like, oh, by the way, Ben, <laughs> Ben is in my university as well. Yeah. He's like, yeah. he knows yeah. the professor. And we just went there like, bro, like, are we in the wrong place? Like <laughs> you know, like what were you doing here? And then like everyone would just like, you know, had fans uh, taking photos. And that's when I first like I didn't know about this industry at all. Like, mm-hmm. like how you can have fans. And I, I wasn't like my path of life wasn't like, you know going that way like i didn't mm-hmm. i didn't think i would come to that point yeah and i don't know anything about it so i for me like first glance was just like whoa like what what the hell is this like yeah. so yeah. many people like come to support these these guys mm-hmm. but then i'm just turning up as well <laughs> like you know what i mean like <laughs> yeah, and then, yeah yeah and then i was actually sick that day oh and then i was like nah i'm not gonna get it then like mm-hmm. I'm not going to get it. Like, there's no way. But I rode my bike there. And then um, Peter, which is um, Moti Village CEO, yeah. he um, mm-hmm. told P, I forgot her name, like assistant to took a mm-hmm. picture of me like on a bike. And then that's when everyone like came around me. I was like, whoa, <laughs> cool. I like this shit. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, my first new fans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was cool. That was like kind of experience. But then when I went casting, I was just like, like sick like literally my yeah. voice was oh. gone ben when i first mm. like, when i said when i sat down like after the dude like i do the audition ben was just mm-hmm. like bro like your voice is like <laughs> long gone bro you sound like fucking oh. thanos or something <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah that was crazy yeah 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 that's yeah. exciting like being like unknown and oh, it, it feels like a lot of pressure you have to go through to having all these stars around you mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was, mm. like... But I didn't know, like, how famous they were. Like, you know mm. what I mean? Like, because I wasn't interested in the yeah. industry. So right. I don't know who they was. But I know that they have a lot of support. Yeah. So I was just curious, like, you know. And I was scared. Yeah. It's, like... Like, I think Pimeo was casting for fourth as well. So I was, yeah. like... Yeah. And he's, his acting Shit. was very good. Like, and I had yeah. no... Like, no... Experience. Mm-hmm. Right. But I think... From what like I got it, I think because of like who I am, like mm-hmm. that's what they told me. <laughs> if then yeah. lie, um, yeah. I I got it because like the the person personality of me like mm-hmm. can be it fits you know it, it fits, and then you can like acting skill and um like what do you say like your looks and everything mm-hmm. can be developed, you know, mm-hmm. right? It can be mm-hmm. it can be like make over and do something about that, but. Your the personality, personality. You have to be, yeah. You have yeah, to be right. like who you are. So I just kept that. I was like, I was like, like when I did the acting for um the casting, I was it like, wasn't good, but then I just be myself, like how yeah. I would speak mm-hmm. in that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. But there's so many things that I want to redo, like in the acting <laughs> when you see yourself, but yeah. it's a first one. So I I I think yeah, that's I, good I, enough. I, I yeah, imagine. yeah. yeah. Like, I feel the same way. Like, we started this podcast, like, uh, eight months ago. And mm-hmm. I listened to the first episodes, and it's, hmm, cringe. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, it's a yeah, learning by doing. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> um, how did you feel when you were chosen for the role of fourth? Shock? Uh, Aw. <laughs> I, I, I just know, because I went audition for that that role Mm -hmm. specifically um but when i actually got it i i actually that's when he pimi called me Mm -hmm. at um i was at a wedding and then he told me that i got it i was like i was just like didn't know what to say you know it's Mm -hmm. like a next step like oh okay so so i got something what do we do now (laughs) yeah like completely different from what i was and then like this is different path of me like Mm -hmm. you know pursuing this and what to do because i don't know like like how do you have to be in front of everyone you know yeah but then you got training after that so it's fine but we're not like k-pop where you have to be like very strict you know Mm -hmm. oh yeah yeah this is like just an acting you know it's not like that like like 
like very strict where you have to do everything you know change yeah yeah, mm-hmm. yeah i i mean you're probably one of like the bl actors who's uh most um how do i describe that shady online <laughs> shady <times. laughs> Am I Robbie Maybe people? Outspoken. Not towards <laughs> other people or anything. Ah, okay. <laughs> like um, uh, very straightforward. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely. And I, 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 I completely I, respect that. I mean, more people should do it. <laughs> well, I, well uh, how would I say this? Because I don't like some people do it because they respect like um they want to you know progress more and more mm-hmm. in the industry mm-hmm. i myself i want to progress but i want to be myself yeah. mm-hmm. but so if i'm if i I've, if i get another series but i have to be different i'm not gonna yeah. take it because right. i can't be like doing mini hearts like in front of everyone like all the time you know i just want to be me <laughs> yeah i get but, like that. yeah 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 and you've kind of built your whole career right now around your personality so mm. yeah I mean, Actually, the fans like, would notice right away if you started acting different because you were in a show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because, um, like, the I've been talking with, you know, a few series after I left um, mm-hmm. my old agency. Mm-hmm. And just now that we cannot move with the um, show yet because, like, mm-hmm. COVID right, is, like, a, yeah, again. Really so we're just going to wait. But mm-hmm. there is, like, I would say the biggest spoiler I can give you is two series if it's not mm-hmm. deleted something nice. like that but it's all both BLs and this one is very fainted but um, uh, a movie on a very popular online streaming but I cannot say where but maybe I just nice. don't know and that's from like from being exposed on TikTok like right. how crazy yeah. is that awesome. TikTok is insane with, with the opportunities it can give people honestly yeah. mm. Yeah, it's it's, it's so. so good to see all of you like Ben and Earth and Dome all getting finally yeah. getting some yeah. work. Mm. Yeah. Ben is um Ben is I think move with um Dome's manager as well. Yeah. And Dome's doing mm. well for himself and mm. Nine is like very like pursuing yeah. his dream. And Jung is I think he's back in Thailand. I, I talked to him and he's waiting for okay. his series and stuff as well. Yeah, wasn't it postponed because of the yeah. whole controversies with yeah, the I don't even know, voting like, and yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know like that, like like the Chinese industry side. So yeah. right. I didn't want to mm-hmm. study it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I get it. I get it. You know, I heard like a rumor, um, because when Two Months Two came out, um there wasn't a lot of subtitles to the series. And I heard that you were a part of um, giving yeah, I was us subtitles yep. to two months too. I was um, proof checking, checking some, mm-hmm. but like um, like some slangs and yeah. try to mm-hmm. make it casual. But there's yeah. still like some some bad things slip through. But you know, like like some like we are not like professional, you know, freaking right. yeah. script writer mm-hmm. or something like that. <laughs> mm-hmm. But uh, we just taking the grammar and like even the grammar wasn't like perfect. But we just trying to get like you know. You cannot please everyone, you know, like at that time there was like negative like vibe as well. So like Mm -hmm. it was like a very like, should I do a job? You know Mm -hmm. what I mean? Like if I fucked up, you know, like (laughs) it's going to be on me. But then like Um, Um was um, actually Um and his team was doing the thing and I was just, you know, checking it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's no, really cool. like there there wasn't a lot of subtitles going around back then. And I know a lot of fans really um appreciated the subs, even if they weren't perfect. Like it's yeah. better than nothing. And it really spearheaded like this whole thing about getting subtitles on BL. Yeah. Because it's like uh it's coming from like, you know, official. It's not like a mm-hmm. like fan made. Fan so fan they, sub. Yeah. They, they actually they actually feel like it's like, you know. It's coming from the actor, you know, mm. like official release. Yeah, you know when you see like a uh, a movie that you see released with a title, uh, a yeah. subtitle, and then you see like a, a uh, another made one. So you have to trust the main one, you know. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. So, um, do you have like an inspiration of what like made you go into acting? 
Or was it just like a spur of the moment because uh, your teacher told you to? <laughs> well, that too, yeah. Um, yeah. But I, to be honest with you, like, um, I didn't think I was gonna go acting side, but I was doing modeling because you know modeling mm -hmm. was the the shit. You know, they're, they're like, <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like when I said it, like with the boys, but um. <laughs> like when i got into it it's more than that you know like mm -hmm. it's the connection you have with fans yeah. yeah and um like it's crazy how like there's so many people you know who appreciate your work and supporting mm -hmm. you from just you know want one screen yeah like they haven't met you or seen you in real life so i really enjoy doing like this kind of stuff when you know it's like doing something and then you're getting like all this love back as well so it's right. like mm -hmm. a very enjoyable like job i would say yeah so I, i'm really curious how did you uh, get the idea to start the whole thirst tweet youtube reaction oh. thing? <laughs> well, that was a long time ago though yeah, that was, yeah. Like, quite a long time um it was just like you know like the fans they really want it so i was just mm -hmm. like oh okay seems like something i would enjoy doing <laughs> and reading so it was like kind of like a jay park thing i saw him like he did like read some of you know tweets yeah. on youtube yeah. by some like mm. show but i forgot the name but yeah. he did that so i was like okay that's that's cool but i just did like homemade kind of version yeah you know it was kind of fun back then yeah yeah <laughs> i mean i can't judge like i make a hobby out of doing like uh very erotic audiobooks online <laughs> so i shouldn't be saying anything no it's a really entertaining video yeah i, yeah, I remember like watching them like back when you first released them and i feel like my only thought was like me if i was reading those tweets about me i don't know how i would have been able to like do that and then like put it yeah. on the internet because i just would have yeah. been like so embarrassed yeah yeah people <laughs> yeah it's kind of like it's kind of like things that not many celebrity does mm -hmm. or like actor does like you know i, I wouldn't think like um what who, who should i who's the innocent one like win or bright win would do that yeah. you know what i mean <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like it, like but i'm i'm i don't think myself as like someone out there i just think myself i'm just a normal person doing my job you know acting as a job mm -hmm. and i can be myself like just like friends like you're reading a like a text to your friend so i don't i don't think it was like that big of a deal yeah. for me yeah i honestly when i'm reading the really smutty um books i feel like it's not it's sort of like being outside yourself you're not really aware of what you're reading even yeah. though it's very explicit so it doesn't yeah. like i don't get embarrassed by it funnily enough mm. but yeah i get it it's like for me like um i think when i made that um that thing it was just kind of like i think that i know that my fans right. like mm -hmm. like it's the type that would enjoy <laughs> at that time <laughs> they were requesting a lot and i like i see myself at like very close with my fans mm -hmm, like yeah. they could be like they could be like calling me stuff like if i if i know them they are joking like you know it's fine like we are friends and like yeah. right you know, it's, it's the close relationship thing you mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. yeah you've really leaned into the whole daddy image <laughs> <laughs> oh i was just joking but i don't think they was gonna say happy father's day to me so. <laughs> yeah yeah i saw so, that like, No, but it's fun to like be um joke online with people and just yeah. not take it so seriously. Yeah, yeah. 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 I do think that's like kind of something that does set you apart, like you said, because there are a lot of actors in the BL industry who wouldn't even like touch that side of like mm -hmm. their fandom and stuff like that. So it is like fun and refreshing to see someone who's like joking around and leans yeah. into kind of like the the dirty jokes and stuff like that it makes it yeah. fun yeah 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 it I makes it you just stand because, out hmm. i think it's just because i live in new zealand as well and like mm. like my culture is different right. from like yeah. thai so like yeah. thai would be like very polite mm -hmm. and like you know more of like close like right mm -hmm. how would you say 
um preservative like yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah like mm -hmm. not like telling everybody everything you know but i do tell but like when it's very personal i don't tell of course mm -hmm. but like things like i can tell I, i would tell and like just you know have fun and like my friend you know like yeah. there's nothing to be like ashamed of yeah yeah i mean like in norway um people are very open about that sex is a normal thing so you it's just a part of like normal conversation and you can joke about it without making it a big deal yeah. it's just i wasn't even like thinking about that part i was just thinking like like some funny like you know like group jokes and yeah that, yeah like like friend like close friend stuff yeah yeah if you could choose like a genre you um wanted to act in what genre would you choose um i would want to do like action but then like have some romance mm -hmm. like uh like what did you say when chinso is um a bit of romance a little bit comedy okay. as well like um what is that what's that movie crash landing like you know like mm, like yeah the, the, yeah the guy is like you know some sort of you know doing a mission or something but then badass like, kind of yeah but yeah. then like on his path he sees something like you know like a girl or a guy that distract you know like to fall in love with something like that yeah or just peel action slit the throat and shoot the head <laughs> like, <you know? laughs> I'll be fine. Like Kenny Reef, something like that. Like John Wick. Do some stunts no. then. Yeah. Mm. When you said that, I instantly thought of like the James Bond series. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Mr. Smith. and Mrs. Smith. Yeah. yeah. yeah oh, like that, yeah. That yeah, vibe. Yep. That, I need someone to do that and turn into a BL. <laughs> yeah. I would fund it. That would be awesome. Someone needs to write that. <laughs> yeah, I, would, I would fund it myself. Yeah. <laughs> That would be amazing. Like we need more um action packed BLs. Yeah. I I personally feel like there should be more violence in voice yeah. love. <laughs> It's just that like they are falling like um standard, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know it has yeah. to be like their their way, you know. Because like Thailand is like a country where you don't want to risk, which right. is very different from like the It's hard European to step world. Out. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I imagine like now even it's probably worse with all the protests and yeah. everything happening. It's not a good climate to do anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everyone just want to be like safe zone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you have like um if you didn't live in Thailand, where would you live? I would stay in New Zealand, but then I would New move Zealand. to America. Because <laughs> my friends in LA, they just Josh is like in, I think Josh is in um, what's that beach in Australia? Uh, Bondi Beach. Like um, mm. he's there right now, and he's gonna move to LA, but just waiting for COVID. Right. Right. Yeah. Like my friend is just like exploring, traveling. You know, like European vibes, like, mm. like right. American just culture, going like, wherever. You know, yeah. <laughs> just freely, you know. Yeah, I want to do that. Be cool. I would, I would take my bike with me. To be honest, I would import it, yeah. export it, <laughs> ride the bike take across, it across the ocean. <laughs> no, 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 I mean, like, I would just, I would, I would ship it. Yeah. If I ever move, I would take my bike with of me. Of course. Yeah. 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 No, I, I, I get that. I, I really love traveling, and I did like I'm 32 now, so I'm. Um, and have a family like kids and stuff so i don't travel yep. that much anymore but when i was yeah. younger i did a lot of traveling i actually mm. regret not traveling more to asian countries because i kept like mm. around europe and stuff yeah uh but yeah but when you're I, around well when you're around europe it seems easier to travel in europe you can right? yeah it's, it's so, so easy to get close, to different yeah. countries yeah it is and yeah. you tra you feel like you travel more countries Because it's like so close small to each countries other. Yeah. around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. You can stop by different places, mm, and yeah, that's true. yeah. I think one of my favorite things ever was when we went um, island jumping in Greece. Oh, uh, that was that amazing. sounds like a dream. Yeah, we were like 18 years old, and mm. we 
gave no fucks like yeah. <laughs> we had no plans we just landed in greece took yeah. a ferry out to the islands we didn't have hotels we didn't have yeah. anything a lot of shit happened <laughs> yeah <laughs> i can imagine it's like it's kind of like like the culture that i grown up to yeah and like i don't see anyone in bl like grown in that culture so it's yeah. kind of like like the hectic like go to the bar like Bro, do you want to go pre drinks tonight at my house? And then we take <laughs> take a cab to this 1885 club, and then we go here next. Oh, you you Bar got hopping. the chicks, bro. You got that, bro. You got the drinks. You got the wine. You know, like it's kind of like friends, like you mm -hmm. know that I never yeah. had in Thailand anymore. Yeah. <laughs> like it's gone. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. it's different culture, you know. Yeah, yeah. I noticed that like the a lot of countries treat like the whole going out um, differently. So even yeah. if you're just traveling around Europe, it's very different from each country. Mm. Yeah. Even like be our actor or actor, like seen yeah. in the bar is a kind of bad thing. But I don't really yeah. care, to be honest. Like I had so many like warnings on my head <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so many times, <laughs> like every day, everything. But I don't really care, to be honest. If I had to go, I would go. <laughs> so if you could like choose an actor to work with in the future, who would it be? in thailand yeah anywhere anywhere i don't know to be honest i don't really have like you know who i need to work with mm -hmm. you know um is there like a dream actor or actress you like uh canoe reef adopted mm, yeah. son or something like that in a row adopted asian son. adopted son be awesome to shoot you know <laughs> <laughs> he trains you in his yeah. John Wick ways. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Or like uh maybe some sort of like Korean. I want to try Korean drama. Like mm -hmm. their acting is different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like the way they do it. Yeah. It's different. It's very different. But like Western where it's like more realistic. Like yeah. mm -hmm. if you're if you're gonna like look tired, you're gonna look tired. You know, like mm -hmm. gonna look like came out of K-pop, you know, like looking like <laughs> you so, wake like, up with like perfect makeup. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's different like i want to do like both so yeah. like i get both worlds and yeah. see like the different thailand is in the middle like realistic yeah. mm -hmm. but then still like trying to do beauty but not mm -hmm. thailand is like a country where like it's like in the middle like you know yeah. there's no one that always does it like to the max i don't know mm -hmm. why yeah what i love about like k-dramas is that like it's the perfect thing to make you um like uh, give you a like fantasy like yeah. It's, yeah it's just a dream away not think about daily life or anything yeah. because norwegian um movie industry is very realistic <laughs> yeah. very dark yeah. and very realistic even the humor is very self-deprecating it's almost kind of like british Mm. humor in that sense so and very dry <laughs> yeah, yeah. so i i like that like being able to watch k dramas and just go away to a different world is uh -huh. like it's the favorite thing that's why i like k-pop too because it yeah. gives you like this whole large world that mm. you just kind of dive into yeah yeah it's mm. like a, it's like a like almost like sci-fi you know like mm -hmm. you don't really yeah. like experience in real life much mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but um for me i want to do yeah both of that like yeah. you know yeah. i do like the you know the american side like you know acting like when mm -hmm. you're like like dead you're dead like you know you're tired you're tired <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> that's like like um i would say like just let go acting you know like, like mm -hmm. let everything go yeah just but, throw like, everything yeah yeah like but um like cage drama a thai drama would be like you're still trying to look nice like you know you have yeah. to look and it, because they sell appearance you know mm -hmm. it's right. like one of the selling point you know be mm -hmm. it's not just the, the story it's like the story and the appearance of the mm -hmm. actor so you yeah. kind of like in the thing you're like thinking you're yeah. gonna look handsome like you know <laughs> And then in K dramas, even if you're dying and covered in blood, you still look, look absolutely pretty. flawless yeah. the entire time. Yeah, they hear like perfect hair. Yeah, what's that guy? Um, in like the butterfly guy. Um, nevertheless. Oh. Yeah, he's like 
Park Jae like, on. <laughs> yeah, he always like handsome in every scene. Like, yeah, <laughs> the lighting is always doing. like clear skin. You know, it has yeah. to, because that's different like standard. You know. Yeah. Yeah, you, you know, you know a lot of about boys love. Like you're one of the people um, that I've talked to that is an actor in the industry and actually knows about the industry as well. Yeah. So. I, I mean, do you watch a lot of boys love shows? To be honest, I don't watch it. I just watch yeah. mine. Yeah, <laughs> but um, you keep up to date with all the yeah. I just seen who's stuff, yeah. acting in which, you know. Mm. But I don't mm. really. I seen I seen like couple episodes and then I just like change your next one. I don't. I just watch to see like the story, like yeah. what is right. what is it like and how are they doing it. What mm-hmm. they getting. Why is everyone like what liking this? Like you know, like right? Yeah, mm-hmm. just to the get hype like about mm, yeah. Like updates. It seems like a lot of the boys love actors in Thailand kind of everyone seems to know everyone. <laughs> yeah, 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 but not. This is so much now. Like this, yeah, even unnamed. Mm-hmm. Like everyone just there's so many like BL now. Mm-hmm. Like it's so like kind of be too much. Mm-hmm. yeah just like yeah some books like you don't even like some people don't even know some like mm-hmm. character like people don't know but mm-hmm. like luckily mine was like two months two which is like um p cupcake actually like you know she actually wrote that book to be very you know like lovable by everyone so yeah it actually yeah. you know what was a good start you know for mm-hmm. me as well mm-hmm. it's not like just like a random you know new something something you know yeah yeah, I think you kind of lucked out with the whole um, when Two Moons Two came out because it mm. was before people were getting oversaturated by yeah. the whole engineer and yeah. <laughs> storylines. <laughs> right think now, what, I think my one was like kind of like a few last one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that that could before, only do. Or... Yeah, but I think if yeah. if like let's say a fucking two minutes to reunion a remaster i think people will accept the whole engineering because it's original you know it's been done like yeah. before mm-hmm. it's not like a new whole story yeah yeah how do you feel like you obviously you're good at english and you have like more opportunity to um interact with international fans um mm-hmm. just do you feel like from you probably talk to other BL actors about stuff and do you feel like you have had a different experience than they yeah. have because yeah. you can I probably have different more? yeah no I mean like Thai fans cannot I think I speak so much English that my Thai fans don't get to interact with me now yeah <laughs> it's like swapped <laughs> yeah yeah it's kind of like swap but I think I'm more main on the english part mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. i live in like new zealand for mm-hmm. so long that um like just think of me, of me as you know just maybe a foreigner doing a vl <laughs> or something mm. <laughs> but you know like i just want to speak the language it, that i'm most comfortable in right mm-hmm. yeah and you know switching between languages is kind of hard i can do it but yeah. it's just not all the time yeah yeah, I get that. Like, I, I obviously speak Norwegian as well. And I know that if I keep switching between them, I start kind of getting like, the, um, I'm saying an English word, but in a Norwegian tone. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's very weird. It will yeah. happen sometimes in the podcast. It's fine, <laughs> I will it's fine. say something so strange. <laughs> it's just that like, you know, sometimes you're like, translating in our head as well you know yeah 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 i get do you speak any other languages besides english and thai or do you have any that you want to learn um i do i do want to learn but i cannot i can't i can only speak um thai and english Mm -hmm. and i i would say english is my strongest part Mm -hmm. i cannot write thai Mm -hmm. i can but it's gonna look like like It's going to look like the time that I move out of Thailand. Yeah. It's yeah. going to stay at that. The handwriting is going to stay at that because when I move, I type Thai with my friends in Thailand. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't write Thai, you know. Right. I can type, yeah. but I cannot. Physically, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I get that. But some Thai, Thai, Thai language has like very like hard. 
what do you say like um some lettuce is very like it's very like for a niche word you know right for, mm-hmm. yeah like a very complex word yeah but it still sounds still same meaning as the basic one but mm-hmm. right. more of, official you know mm-hmm. right yeah but i do want to learn like french yeah because i've been watching a lot of love islands Ooh. too hot to handle <laughs> season two <laughs> And I see like so those guys, yeah, just just per- persuading with his um French accent, <laughs> his <Yeah>. French, <laughs> yeah, the language cool. of love. Yeah, and we Spanish had French cool. in school um, from seventh, no, fifth grade, no, seventh grade. You can learn um, French or German in Norway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So back to the questions. Yeah. Um, what was your inspiration behind Half Savage? Well, like before, you know, I like started as fan merch and there was no direction because I just want to do th- um, clothing brand, clothing merchandise, just, you mm-hmm. know, express like the keywords that I do on there or like some text that I, you know, speak about a lot or something like that. But um, I kind of, yeah, I kind of um, <laughs> change it to like more of like for some people that is not, mm-hmm. doesn't know general me. General yeah. brand. Yeah. More right, general. Yeah. So I change it with the butterfly and everything, you know, that's mm-hmm. kind of more of like anyone can wear and all that stuff. Yeah. So like, yeah, I'm actually going to like, going to change it into, you know, something that is more general and more, mm. um. That's what do smart. you say Ma- like mass and you know yeah. mm-hmm. can be um liked by everyone and i'm actually gonna for the next one it's gonna be a lot of um like professional things that mm-hmm. i'm not gonna design nice. myself i'm actually hiring right. an actual like you know designer oh. from like america to design cool. it for me it's so it's awesome. gonna be something like it's more you know an actual brand yeah like sell yeah, because, the brand because up until now you've been designing them all yourself yeah, and th- there was one collection that I did with um Alexander that um he designed um the the um half savage fall and winter right the first hoodie that was kind of like experimental mm-hmm. for you know you know like how we say more of like experiment on the hoodies how to mm-hmm. do the outer wears and all that stuff you know like I started with you know no experience on the garment mm-hmm. at all and just kind of did it like first i did it with mom and i started with like very low funding and just mm-hmm. you know kind of yeah. you know put a lot of money back and forward you know like mm-hmm. it's looked like it looks like i am getting a lot but I, actually i had to put a lot back to you know make right. more yeah. Production like a bigger and brand stuff. yeah right. and yeah. i you know like especially with this time you know like i had to mm-hmm. use a lot I haven't had to part the money to be like used because yeah. like COVID and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. And, but yeah, there is like very, like, you know, it actually helped me, you know, with savings and all that stuff. Yeah. And mm-hmm. That's good. Yeah, I really, I really appreciate like you guys supporting and, you know, mm-hmm. like in the future, we're gonna like, actually, this is, I'm going to keep it as, you know, something by my side and actually develop more and more, you know, oh, I'm going to awesome. sell it until it doesn't sell out, you know, <laughs> like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was last day. Awesome. I thought like, the timing. Oh, I was just gonna say I thought the timing of your most recent drop with the butterflies was really mm-hmm. good because mm-hmm. I feel like the nevertheless the butterfly drama is like yeah. really really popular in Thailand yeah. right now. Like I see so many Thai people tweeting about it and talking about it. So like I just thought that timing was like impeccable with that. Yeah. Most so recent drop. many many butterfly tattoos going tattoos. around Instagram. <laughs> There's so many butterflies. Yeah. Like I I didn't even plan about that. Like I had a mm-hmm. different meaning. Like you know, like being free, like freely and freedom, mm-hmm. right? And, you know, it was like coincidence that like you know it actually matched the timing of this. Yeah, and actually like it's been delayed by like you know like this has been in production for four months, five mm-hmm. months. Wow. I would say yeah, yeah, since the beginning, since I dropped the last devil like the devil that's mm. was the most successful ones ever awesome. um they actually sold out and like hundreds and of hundreds mm-hmm. sold out wow. and it was crazy how like you know like that design that we did like 
I actually did those when I was live streaming with fans and like some people were having ideas, you know, putting ideas in and we actually did it together. So That's it was so cool. Yeah. And actually it was quite successful. And then after mm-hmm. straight away, I just decided to do the butterfly straight away. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, it'd been delayed for so long that yeah. it actually came out like recently. So it matched mm-hmm. the time of that drama. <laughs> But the the next one I'm planning to release end of the year. Just like it's not going to be um um I'm not sure yet, but I think it's mostly like 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 inner wears, which is like like t-shirts. Yeah. Like um not like a big like you know outer wears. So like it's gonna be like same price like um seven ninety buy, mm-hmm. which is like more affordable. When I, mm. if I I already I still have like you know a lot of hoodies for them to yeah. choose like four designs. So that's gonna be carry on for the season two which is going to be more of t-shirts and all that stuff right and nice. accessory i want to do like socks and all that stuff and this guy is very good like he does like oh, let me show you hold up i saw him on tiktok actually it's mm-hmm. quite sound crazy mm-hmm. you know? and he was doing like this type of video like kind of like what if travis scott um co- collab with nike would be like right. you know and then mm-hmm. he would design cool. how it would look like and yeah right and actually got a lot of views and then mm-hmm. i was like if people are demanding to want him to make this mm-hmm. if he makes something for me it would be good then you know what i mean yeah if he's yeah. making something and people are demanding this demand there so why not yeah. make it happen and he actually It'll help like, you expand like to yeah. the market that he already has too yeah and like correctly as well i have no experience in fashion industry and mm-hmm. then just you know i need someone to you know let me show you how can you see yes yes mm. you know he does like that's cool Ooh. you cannot really see much but he does like you know collab and all that stuff it's yeah it's crazy how he's like and there's like eight million people watching and it's like wow. like you know mm-hmm. and 40k of them is like they really need to make this into a brand like you know like mm-hmm. there's 70k people like wanting like this guy is good like you know mm-hmm. so i had to get him that's awesome that's, so, that's yeah. gonna be so exciting I, to see i feel like yeah. more people are like want um to buy clothes that are from their favorite creators and stuff mm-hmm. instead yeah. of going to a clothing store that just have like the what everyone yeah. else has mm-hmm. yeah but it, yeah but i'm trying to make something that um something is very like marketable and mm-hmm. something is on that level of you know clothing brand but then yeah. still coming from me you know right which is very hard but it's gonna yeah. take years of years it's mm. business so it's yeah and i'm doing it like you know like small very small team and yeah. with some help of some um fans as well when in mm-hmm. different sort like if, in different type of fields you know i cannot learn everything you know right yeah I cannot do okay. everything yeah i was gonna ask do you like all of your like business choices and stuff are you alone with the deciding what you're going to do? Because you've done a lot of choices that are really smart. <laughs> so I'm just curious if oh. it's, if you um, just have that street smart or, <laughs> or if you have no, no, help. No. We, um, like I did it by myself to like the, the first ever hoodie. Mm-hmm. And then after that, it's, um, been, um, with, help of um very close fans that has turned into friends Mm. that actually helped me you know a lot of um decision and Mm -hmm. but i still like sometimes i'm very hard-headed and i do have Mm -hmm. my own direction but you know i if it if they say something like that you know how would look how it would look that Mm -hmm. way i Mm -hmm. i'm gonna take you know some suggestion and some idea to mix it with my own so i'm not gonna Mm -hmm. change like differently to be not me you know yeah but they do have like suggestion that is very you know helpful and yeah can how would you say like polish you know yeah to be mm-hmm. for it to be better because like, yeah my eyes cannot tell everything you know yeah right i yeah. i know for me like i own a business myself outside of this podcast <laughs> yeah. and i know that i need people around me because even though i have a lot of ideas and probably most of them are good <laughs> but yeah. i i when you when you're alone with an idea you don't think about every side mm-hmm. of the picture yeah. 
so having someone there to just tell you have you thought about this have yeah. you done that like it helps a lot yeah yeah i'm for this like season two that i'm gonna do at the end of the year i'm just gonna i didn't i didn't even tell like the design and like what i want i just gave him my brand look at it yeah. and mm-hmm. make it your own way yeah and um, That's really cool. make like it that. your own but then if i want to like change change something because i already look at his profile mm-hmm. and everything that he likes is what i would make mm-hmm. so we are the same like both same anyway. vision yeah. right yeah, same, like he's like streetwear he's like literally the same like mm-hmm. you know track pants all that stuff hoodies black and red some red some white you know black and white yellow like all those stuff is like kind of like same what i wear Aesthetic, anyway so yeah i just gave him like the keywords what i want yeah yeah that's awesome what um what inspired you to want to do music like with your uh, um, rap song well i always wanted to do have own music and mm-hmm. then like you know I always thought of like making music is a big deal. Making a drama, or making a series, not drama. Yeah. Making a series is a big deal. You know, it's not a small production. But then, mm-hmm. when I think about it, if some rapper can make themselves up from nothing, mm-hmm. then I can do it. Mm-hmm. But I didn't think it was like gonna be like something that I built myself, like fast and hit the fans crazy and slowly yeah. building my skills and doing something I what I want to do. Yeah, like been waiting to do so long, but I couldn't do. Mm-hmm. So I, when I had the chance, and like after I just did everything and collab with um Young Ill, and he actually helped me mm-hmm. a lot, like with the rap and do all that stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's gonna be more coming and coming. Like you know, this gonna awesome. be yeah a lot of music that I want to do. It's not gonna be like something that is um you know that I don't want to do. It's something that yeah. I want to portray and you know yeah. have fun with. You know. Yeah. It's yeah, more like a plan. passion project kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. That it's mm-hmm. a small project that um I think it's it's not gonna hurt if you do it. Like there's mm-hmm. no like there's nothing to lose type thing. Yeah, there's there's mm-hmm. nothing to lose and and um the music video we did it like I like me and my assistant like in Thailand mm-hmm. film it together. We recorded um and with the camera that you know. We got from Twitch, you know, donation and all that stuff. So everything was awesome. Resource every every resource is coming from the community, you know. Yeah. So we it's going around. What you give, you you're gonna get back, and you know, like like they gave me to do something with it. I mm-hmm. give them back this, you know, production, mm-hmm. and I use it to make TikTok. I use it to make the music video. So I just you know using every resource I have, and yeah, make something happen. And yeah, even like awesome. the um. The music video like the editing i wasn't sure how i was gonna do it and then we have like um this um fan that um be- like become very close with me and she actually um work in a very um professional um like a like a video editing company like, like mm. organization that actually she's a pro editor so i have her like to up- supervise the how this you know the cuts will go how this will be changing here how when will the slow-mo be like you know the drop so you know we are going back and forward with the community and you know mm-hmm. i even put it on so um, my cool. patreon just on discord for my fantasy like like a draft version how would this be you know you guys right. like it seeing like the the what do you say um the output now you know the feedback the process mm-hmm. if, if they like it yeah. then it means more people mm-hmm. are gonna like it you know so yeah. it's not just like doing straight what I like so right. it's like half half you know mm-hmm. yeah it's yeah. a great resource Fun. to have like that community behind you and just mm. getting to play off them yeah mm-hmm. and I think I sh- I actually use it to like I actually use it to my like maximum you know mm. everything they gave me like if- I think my fans like when they gave me something they always give me something that I can work and produce something more mm-hmm. it's not mm-hmm. like um they like the big things like they always get something that i can like then they know i love tech they know i love like um photography videography like they they 
they gave it so they can see what I can do with it. You know what I right. mean? Like the creativity. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's really special to be able to curate a relationship like that with your fans. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One of your fans uh, asked, um, since you upload so many K-pop reactions uh, on YouTube, what is your favorite K-pop group? Well, I don't really like. I'm not a person that is like, like big or know everyone on K-pop. Mm-hmm. I I check them out because my fans suggest me, and I see them on Twitter. Like sometimes when I scroll down, I see them. I will check this out, and then I actually oh okay, let's see. And then I if I like it, you know, then I I like it. Like yeah. with Felix, I saw like someone tag me like the, um, the cooking like a chef part, and yeah. like, I was like, oh, I I seen the the robot arm camera thingy, and then mm-hmm. I never seen anyone did it in the K-pop world. I seen like yeah. um, it was like Kendrick Lamar like did with his mm-hmm. music video. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, this is kind of like American like music hip hop side, and it's like, and this guy is like very visual, and he had like a sprinkle on the side of his hair slick back you know with the yeah. jacket i was yeah. like who it is and then i just found out and then i yeah you know it's not like i have to go like i'm not a person that like watch you know like k-pop yeah. but i i i do mm-hmm. enjoy it when some people like when suggest discover me. It. Yeah. yeah 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 but i would say like no no favorite but i do like um felix and kai i think their appearance is very like international you mm-hmm. know like, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. sharp jawline you know the looks it's not like yeah. it's not like yeah. too like cute but but they can be cute you know <laughs> yeah 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 i get what you mean yeah what kind of music is your favorite favorite kind um hip-hop r&b i think mm-hmm. yeah like um like any mainstream ones or hard i don't like hardcore rap sometime like um mm. logic nice. um eminem drake kendrick like all those one, I do like R&B, like um, Vito, Chris Breezy, um, you know, Tory Lane, mm-hmm. all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's like so... uh, what I listen to New Zealand as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, the TikTok videos you do, how do you come up with the ideas for it? Um, like I stuck, like I stuck with TikTok. And like end of the end of the last year, like I made it long time ago when I was um in two moons or OSQ, um, but I actually never like put out any content on it because yeah. I thought it was like what the fuck is this app like you know, <laughs> and then like it wasn't popular in Thailand. It was like very different in Thailand, mm-hmm. and like it was trending in America and all that other country. But then like I think Jung was used the only one using it a lot right. back then and then um i used to tease him a lot to be honest like with mm-hmm. his tiktok <laughs> and um but yeah um i just kind of stuck with it in like end of the last year mm-hmm. and actually blew up like from like 70k followers into 1.4 mil and like wow from a couple of video and, like it's crazy how you can grow and then i just kind of kept with it and the ideas are just coming from like the things that i see and then I adapt it to my bike, to me, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. something like that. But right re- lately, I've been um putting a channel on my Discord, like, like telling my um fans that you know in my Discord group, uh, on my Patreon, yeah, if they um see anything that's cool or fits me, like something you see, mm-hmm. just just put the link and with the screenshot. So right. if I see it and I think I can do it, then I would do it, you know. Mm. So like it's better to have more eyes. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. Okay. So we've been talking for a while, so I'm just gonna do one last question. Um, yeah. If the world was going to end tomorrow, what would you spend your time doing? Um, is this, is this like a trick question? Um, <laughs> um, I would wanna just live my life lawless mm. am i been playing too much game been out <laughs> i don't know just you know just have fun i want to i just want to have a last um clubbing session please mm-hmm. it's been two years mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah 
I get it. Like, I haven't been out, like, really out partying uh, since my daughter was born, and that is six years ago, but... Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of hard to go out, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like, COVID aside, when you have, like, two kids that are small, yeah. like... Mm-hmm. Yeah, they have to take care. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, awesome. So, it's done, the interview? Yeah. Do you guys have any other questions? <laughs> no, no. I'm uh, good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, Kayla? No, honestly, I'm still, <laughs> I know no one uses this lingo anymore, but I'm still like shook that we are <laughs> getting to talk to you. Because I remember, awesome. I remember back when I was watching Two Moons 2 with my sister the episode where you popped up on the screen, we simultaneously <laughs> gasped and looked wow. at each other. And we're like, you. who is this person? Yeah. And Same. then like, because you were the actor for fourth, I feel like fourth became my favorite character mm-hmm. in the show. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah I, I know do was wanna... having a starstruck moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like I, yeah. I do want to add more, like, you know, it was it was actually like when we finished that, like it was quite like I look forward to you know to do the season three and mm-hmm. actually like want to fix all the problems that we had like mm-hmm. all the yeah. acting problems that we can fix you know like we already wa- rewatch what we did so we can mm-hmm. like fix it and redo so if like <laughs> we had opportunity to do again it yeah. would have been like awesome you know yeah yeah i know a lot of people kind of um um <laughs> do the whole uh, comparison between Two Moons and Two Moons 2 and just say like, okay, I would have, I prefer like these characters from Two Moons 2 and these from Two Moons. So I I know, like I've always said like, uh, fourth, how you betrayed him is like the best of the two. 100%. (laughs) Yeah, you you fit that role perfectly. Like seriously. (laughs) Thank you. But I do, I do, Thank you, though, but I do respect, you know, the, the guy. Um, yeah, of course. Yeah. Or, you know, mm-hmm. portraying. And I I really, you know, want to, you know, do more and more and actually get into, like, like when you watch series and you're, like, just starting to get, you know, into it and you're, like, what's going to happen next, you know? Mm-hmm. You know, even, like, with the... I haven't got attached to, you know, that role because um during the recording we were gonna have a different bike because mm. the one that we use is actually my bike which is um, yeah. a honda but then like the the prop team um was actually offering me and um the ceo with the um they can borrow the ducati from the mm, motorrad right. for free but mm. we just had to you know um take spend the fees for the transportation Mm-hmm. Right. we couldn't get that so i was like pretty down and mm-hmm. that was exactly like when the first year it came out that was the year that it came out to, of that model and was like the first ever one in thailand that actually got right there it was like one of the two like top super bike so i was very down when i know what model it was and what bike it was because i really want to really want to try it and then yeah. like, i was so cursed from that that I actually <laughs> had to fucking get money to buy it myself <laughs> and i actually bought it because it was like it was rose but like full red but then yeah. yeah i i i just couldn't resist and just bought it yeah i had to do it <laughs> yeah oh i get it like uh, the one time i was see- I sat on like the back of a motorcycle it was like the most amazing thing <laughs> <laughs> it was like when we were recording um two moons it was like it was like our first ever experience on acting and mm. fucking had to do like different technical right. like stunt. Like it's not a stunt, but like you had to stay on the bike while it's not really riding. It's just on the, right. on the trailer. Yeah. And it's kind of like, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Well, this, this was amazing. Thank you so much yeah. for coming on. We had this so, so much fun for talking us. to you. Thank you. No problem. And thank you for, you know, um, bringing me here and supporting me to this time, even though it's been two fucking years, 700 <laughs> days, and you're still supporting me. So thank you for that. And yeah, in the future, it's going to be more and more. Just going to hope this, you know, situation get better. Mm-hmm. I just feel like it was like 
New Year's yesterday. Now is the month yeah, eight. Yeah, it's August. Yeah, mm-hmm. so I think it's gonna be next year when I have a proper, proper, you know, series. So yeah, gonna really stay looking, looking out to for it. You. Yeah, mm-hmm. thank yeah. you. All right. Okay. So, so thank you for everyone listening, and let us know what your favorite fourth scene in Two Moons Two is down below. And like and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you next week. Bye. All right. Bye. See you. Thank, thank, you, thank you, everyone. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. See you.